Yet, at the same time, hindi pa man gid siya completely natabo because you are receiving. Continuing, present, active. What does it mean? It means that heaven and earth are coming closer and closer to each other for the believers as illustrated by this picture. You have come, you are receiving. You are receiving, you have come. You are receiving, you have come. You have, you are receiving, you have come. You have come, you are receiving, you have come, you are receiving. Ganipis, nga na ganipis, nga na ganipis. Mas hapos, nga mas hapos, mas hapos, nga makita, kag sense ang angelic activities in the last days. Ani pagid? Dua gid ni nakakita sila si John kag si Ezekiel. Kita gid nila ya nga ang heavenly Jerusalem kag ang temple kag ang city nga panaog ang sa langit nga panaog sa duta. Ang ato niya paminsar suli kita mapalangit. Ang langit daw mabuang kot an kot papanaog sang langit sa duta. Kita daw mabuang palangit. Ang istorya manaog ang langit sa aton. Di wala ta nakita nga nagapanaog sila kay ga ato na galio ato na ato na ato na nalibutan na ta kay ga panaog na gani sila oh revelations 21 heavenly city coming down okay ari pagid third reason why we should desire to work with angels in the last days last days ha? because there is a prophecy of a time when we shall see angels di na gin prophesy in John 1, si Nathaniel nakita ni Jesus. There was a conversation that followed where Nathaniel declared, Rabbi, you are the son of God, you are the king of Israel. Jesus said, you believe because I told you, I saw you under the fig tree. You will see greater things than that. He then added, very truly I tell you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the son of man. Okay. Pamangkot. Di ina natabo sa life ni Yeshua nga may heavens nga nag-open kag angels nag-ascend kag descend. Abi, show me where. Where? According to the book that I was studying, wala pa manog abot pa lang. Sa aton nga chimpo, the vision of open heaven where angels ascend and descend will become commonplace with the thinning difference between the kingdom coming down, which we are receiving, masako ang saka panaog sang angels. Okay. Ang doktrina lang, anay sang Bible, before I go to the practical. Okay, katahong gin sang practical. But I don't want the practical to be outside of the biblical framework. Number four, the case of the kingdom involved binding and loosing. Sa so Matthew 16, kag Matthew 18, if you gather together, whatever you agree to lose on earth will be loose in heaven. Whatever you bind will be bound. Although ang immediate context ng Matthew 18 is church discipline, the principle is still the same. And it is connected with the keys of the kingdom. Okay. In the books that I am studying, this is a favorite express expression of those who regularly work with angels. They lose their angels. Lord, Father, in the name of Yeshua, we, your people, decide to lose, let go, of the angels assigned to this place and this territory to secure Madonna, to secure Mount Canaan. Because they, inablang buyan mo, kay gahulat na sila, kuman, pas bila German Shepherd, do you decide to lose them? Okay. Lose them and said, attack, go. That is a birthright of the children of God. Number five, angelic ministry will increase towards the second coming. Are not all angels ministering spirits to serve those who will inherit salvation? We are about to inherit salvation. Angelic ministry to us will increase. Okay. This is how they... Because I went to Bible school, I went to seminary. I am concerned with doctrine. 
ko kung mag-amon eh, paano? Hindi ba lang, uh, we should just be praying to the Father or praying to God. We should not be praying to angels. There is no record in the Bible that a prayer is made to an angel. But a conversation was made to an angel. Kaginagin kanta natin to, nga in Hebrew, was the song of Jacob. He was telling the angel, bless me, don't let me go, bless me. That is where they got the song from. But recorded nga prayer ya sa angel, wala na sa Bible. So, in the book, they explain, this is how you do it safely, correctly. Always ask the Father. Everything is addressed to the Father. In the name of Yeshua. Because angels will never take instruction from you unless it is with the approval of the Father in the name of Yeshua. Father, in the name of Yeshua, I assign or I ask my angels assigned to me or the angels of provision or the angels of healing, the angels in charge of nature or your warrior. Depending sa need, i-assign mo to what? To secure the blessing assigned to me in this contract or heal the kidney of or gather waters. Amun nga prayer ang ginagamit na mo ni Ann in the height of El Nino drought nga malamala na ang duta sang uma nila sa lakalota. When we pray, this is how we pray. Father, in the name of Yeshua, we assign the angels in charge of the sea, the sky, and the earth to gather the water from the ocean, bring it to the sky, and pour it down to the earth. In Yeshua's name, Amen. Because they will never take instruction from you unless cleared by the commander-in-chief. Jehovah Sabaoth is his name, the Lord, the commander-in-chief of the heavenly host. But you can make, we can make the request. What is the basis? Because they are sent to minister to us. Gani? Minister? Ano blang minister? Ano blang need mo? May grabe din nga mga examples ng prayer sa financial angels. Do you know that some angels are economic and business angels? I discovered in the study that the principle of anointing and function is the same in the angelic world. The Father has a different calling. He is not called to be in the flesh to crucify Himself. The Holy Spirit is not called to become in the flesh. Lain ang calling sa Father, Son. Lain man ang kada sa isa sa aton. Ang mga angels is the exact same replica of the gifts given to us. They are also given gifts. Some angels have gifts of healing. Some angels are economic angels. May angels nga tanda gidya sa negosyo, kag makaspat sang traidor kag tiupi. May angels man nga doktor nga nagatakod sang spare parts sa lawas. Okay? That is why why is it that in a mass healing or in a crusade, some get so blessed others wala. Ang answer, dipindi kung ano nga angels ang present dito sa sina nga activity. Oh. So, some get their answers fast, the others have to wait until the next time. Okay. Now, the Ephesians 1 to 17, 20 prayer. Here is the six biblical framework for working with angels. Si Paul nagpray that the spirit of wisdom and revelation will be given to us so that we may know him better. And he said, may the eyes of your heart be enlightened or open in order that you may know, among many things, His incomparably great power for us to believe. Anong context ang incomparably great power to believe? Damo na siya, sakop. Pero ang isa ka sakop niya, that power is far above all rule, authority, power, dominion, and every name that is involved, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. Spirit world na. Are you following? Gapresya that may the eyes of your heart be opened so that you will know His incomparably great power among the areas where His incomparably great power is operating is in the spirit realm, in the realm of angels. How will you know His incomparably great power if you have not taken a glimpse of the angelic world? Kaya normal malang itanan, kasi kaya tatanan jeep. Panaog tatanan sa 
bangga na ini tatanan paing tatanan siya hindi anak sang Dios ako ang anak sang Dios the way man different siya daw sakit ulo ya sa init ako sakit ulo ulo sa init so diin na di ang great power for us ko oh, believe ang isa ka dako nga bugto nga makita mo gid kun abrihan sa ginong mata mo nga makita mo kun ano ang angel mo magserbisyo sa imo malalaway ka gid grabe gid ang Ginoo ko terrible gid ang Ginoo ko di karon kun in kun in kun hindi kaya karon gusto mag open your eyes di ka no gon gid okay ani pa gid seven the experience of true worship ini tigas niyo ang nag-explain siya ni 30 years na siya nag-work with angels ang iyang nga interpretation siya ni Papa Boots is very amazing lain ang twist niya siling niya the, uh, G, uh, Yeshua speaking to the woman at the well you Samaritans you do not know what you worship but we Jews we know because salvation is from the Jews but an hour is coming and now is when true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For God is a spirit and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and in truth. Amuni ang explanation, listen carefully. In verse 24, the spirit is capital S. But in verse 23 and in the latter part of verse 24, worship in spirit is in the original text, small letter S. What is the point? This has always been interpreted that the true worshippers worship the Father in the Holy Spirit. Okay, mana, that is correct. But what it really means in the Jewish understanding, you worship the Father in the spiritual realm because true worshippers worship Him in the spiritual realm and in truth. Meaning, you know that when you worship, the angels worship with you because that's the spiritual realm. The true worshippers will not know that they are worshiping with the spirit realm. They expect you to know that you are work worshiping with the spirit realm. They expect us to be blessed every time we worship. Because we know that in the realm of the spirit, a river is flowing. Angels are present. Oil is booing. Amuna ang realm of the spirit. The true worshippers worship in that atmosphere. Kung nagkanto ka lang sa simbahan, kag nagpungko, kag nagpamati, lecture, kag... Anong realm sang spirit tong gintandog mo? Nag-ano ka to? You did not touch the realm of the spirit. When the praise and worship team sang, when the choir, did you sense that there was another voice and another melody? Realm of the spirit na na. Kung nakita mo ang utod mo, ga hibi, kag-ara ka sa tupad niya, kag-apala ni Dog, bahili, balahibo mo, kaya nag-sense ka nga may somebody standing beside him, worshiping na na the Lord in spirit in the spirit realm, angels na na ang recognize mo. In spirit, not in the spirit, but in spirit, in the realm of the spirit. So, true angels are very strict that we worship God and Yeshua only. Okay? Mas kinano ka glorious ni, never bow down to angels, never worship them. Don't do that when John I am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I heard and seen them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who had been showing them. Thinking, grabe, siyempre daw, ma-believe ka. Normal nga, ma-dupa ka sa angel. Nagamba lang, don't do that. I am a fellow servant with you and with your fellow. Worship God. Don't worship me. Worship God. Okay. Three levels of experience with angels. Either the angels will come down to you or you will be brought to the realms of angels or you are brought by the angels to be with them in the realms of God with the divine counsel or heaven. Okay. Arena. Cases of angelic contact with humans. Uso yun tani, then we will close for you to recognize which of this I have already experienced. 
ano ginisila mag-contact sa 